A Living Hope, God's Glory and Majesty, a Testimony by Logan Eliason. I kick off my shoes at the door. My roommate, Craig, looks up from the book he is reading. Can you start loading the Jeep? I ask. Sure thing, he says. We can be out of here in half an hour. Perfect, I say. I loosen my tie as I dash up the stairs. I've put in a full day at work, but I'm overflowing with energy. By dawn, Craig and I will be in Colorado. Our trip has two purposes. I will be officiating my friend Kendall's wedding in Denver, and Craig and I have planned a camping trip in the Rockies. I trade my suit for jeans and a tee. Then I grab my pre-packed duffel bag. Soon, the jeep is full and our journey begins. Craig and I are excited as I merge onto the interstate. We talk as I drive. Slowly, night drifts across Iowa's fields. Our conversation slows, then halts. Craig has fallen asleep. Several hours later, I stop at a gas station and wake him. We switch places. Craig leads us across dark Nebraska plains as I drift in and out of consciousness. We continue trading shifts into the early hours. The novelty of the trip has worn thin, but so is the night. As I drive, light begins to peer from behind me, and what lies in front of me is breathtaking. I shake Craig awake. He swipes at his eyes. Then he sees them. Mountains. We marvel in silence, and then Craig speaks. How can anyone see mountains and not know there is a God? I stare at peaks drenched in daybreak, and I have no answer. Father, thank you for revealing your glory. Let your praises never leave my lips. Luke nineteen thirty nine and 40 and some of the Pharisees called to him from the crowd, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. But he answered them and said to them, I tell you that if these should keep silent, the stones would immediately cry out.